Do we really know the cost of electricity? And I'm not talking here about the monetary cost, but the real cost we are paying for electricity. For answering that question, we first need to understand how electricity is generated. Electricity is generated out of different energy sources. And these energy sources can be grouped in different ways. But the most typical one is to group them out of renewable and non-renewable energy. Let's talk, start with the non-renewable energy. Here we have the oil, the coal, and the natural gas. And actually, two-thirds of the electricity around the world is generated out of these energy sources. Why? Because they are abundant, because they are cheap, and because they can be used anywhere. But the problem with these kind of sources is that they generate a lot of pollution. This photo is from Ventanas, Chile, the country where I come from. And on the photo you can see a coal power plant. This coal power plant generates so much pollution that some days the kids are not allowed to go to school, people is not allowed to go out of the houses, and it actually has one of the highest deadly rates of the country. But this pollution doesn't only stay on these communities, it goes to the atmosphere in form of CO2. And according to the scientific community, this is one of the main reasons for climate change. I think I, I don't really need to dig a lot into climate change, but one of the main problems is that our planet is getting hotter and hotter every year. And I'm pretty sure you must know this photo. This is Hurricane Harvey in, here in Houston, 2017. Of course, we don't want that this kind of climate disaster happen again. But if we don't step, stop climate change, it's expected of this climate of this climate disaster to be even worse. The good news here is that um, the world agreed that we have to reduce the pollution and we have to stop climate change. That's why in 2015. Almost all the countries around the world signed the Paris Agreement, where they agreed to reduce the, po the pollution they are generating. And this, on the energy sector, is, clo is called the clean energy transition. The clean energy transition is to pass from the dirty energy to even the non-renewable clean energy, such as nuclear, or the energy that comes from the water, from the rivers and the ocean, that comes from the wind, from the sun, from inside the earth, and also from the biomass. Not going to talk about all of these energy sources, but let's make an example with solar energy. Solar energy is great. Of course, it makes a lot of sense to use the energy that comes from the sun every year, every day. Okay, so let's build more solar panels. Yeah, it's not that easy. One of the main challenges the energy transition has is that energy cannot be stored. So every time you go to your room and you turn on the light, that light is generated in the exactly same moment in some power generation plant, usually close to your um, house. So if we really want to have this clean energy transition, we need innovation in all the sectors and we need all the sectors to work together. And I'm here to talk about a really nice and fancy innovation I'm working in, in the biomass sector, which is to collect cow poop and burn cow poop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We are collecting cow poop and we are burning cow poop. But you might think, okay, there, where's the innovation here? Like, humanity has been burned cow poop for centuries, some people, some people in Africa and Asia still use it for heating and cooking. Well, that's the point. We don't just collect and burn cow poop. At the beginning, we collect the cow poop. That part is totally true. But we have a process, a unique process, where we take away all the inorganic components that make an inefficient and make and generate a lot of pollution when you burn cow manure, and we stay only with the organic components. It's Organic components are this biomass. This biomass free of any odors, bacteria, pathogens, a clean cow poop at the end. This, this biomass is really light, so we need to increase the density. And that's why we generate these fuel pellets, which is just increasing the density and making it more easy for like, transport it. And these pellets are used for 
renewable energy generation. So we are burning and we are generating heat or electricity out of it. But you might think, okay, but you're still burning something, so you're still generating pollution. Yes, that's right. On the graph here, you can see the um, carbon footprint of different fossil fuels when they are of different fuels when they are burning by generating the same amount of electricity. In this case, it's a, a kilowatt hour, but let's say one amount of electricity. So every time you are burning um, our product and you are not burning coal, you are generating 30 times, 31 times less pollution. So what I'm saying here is that with clean cow poop, we can get out of all the fossil fuels, we can get out coal of the business and start using something that is right now an environmental problem. 